until you get where you want to be. So three years ago, I hit a million in commissions and that's really where I wanted to be. So I started to dial back on new clients and just focused on past clients and I've hit a million every year since. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Yeah. So I believe very strongly that the, the how you exponentially grow is by spending time on both your new clients and your past clients. New clients you never talked to before, adding them to your list of people that you have talked to before, and growing that sphere. And if you do that every year, a lot of people only do one or the other. They only work, work on new clients or they only work on past clients. They don't really do both. And if you can do both, then you can exponentially grow because you're continuing the relationships with your past clients while creating new relationships to maintain. And it just turns into a snowball. But when you build your business up to a certain point, say you want to make a half a million a year, you build up to that point, then you can just rely on your past clients and, and you'll plateau. See, a lot of agents, they get up to 100000 a year and then they quit going after new business. They just rely on the past clients and they just do 100000 100, a year every year and they wonder why their business isn't growing. You know, you have to continue talking to new people you never talked to before, adding them to your sphere until you get where you want to be. So three years ago, I hit a million in commissions and that's really where I wanted to be. So I started to dial back on new clients and just focused on past clients and I've hit a million every year since. And so, you know, it, it, it's all, you have to understand how this game works, you know, short term, long term. You got to understand that, that a market crash is something that is cyclical and will happen and that it's going to come back and that there's all kinds of opportunities at the bottom just the, like there are at the top. And you know, real estate agents have such job security. You know, like a lot of a lot of agents are worried about a couple of things right now: technology taking taking our jobs and, repla and replacing us, which will never happen. The same way that legal Zoom didn't take lawyers out of the game, and you know, technology replacing real estate agents, you know, is a big thing. And also people are worried about the cr a crash happening. You know, what happens there? Well, closings can continue to happen every single day. Um, you know, business continues. It's just kind of a different environment. Prices adjust to what people will actually pay for the properties and business continues to move forward. So, you know, when you realize that we're not going away, real estate agents are gonna be around forever. It doesn't matter if the market crashes. You know, there's just so much job security and opportunity in the business. I think the I think what, what a lot of agents feel like they're at war with Zillow or Red a Redfin or you know the market or you know competitors and really the only person thing you're at war at is yourself. You know and the beliefs behind understanding what I'm saying that competition doesn't exist. There's more relationships in every market than you could ever get to. You know there's an unlimited amount of people to talk to to see what you could do to help them. I mean, you can work 24 hours, seven days a week, and never even scratch the surface. Yeah, that's so, so true. And that's actually perfect because we have a couple of questions that Dan wants to ask as well. And uh, that's really impressive, man. For you to be doing what you're doing and you found that sweet spot and exactly where you want to go and you just, just nurture that system, mm -hmm. I mean, consistency is key and you're, you're obviously showing that's exactly the case. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, Ricky. Um, biggest tech tool you use to help scale your business? What would you say that would, what would be the biggest tech tool? Uh, I mean, there's a couple things. One thing is, uh, you know, I've done a weekly email since 2007. So now we're running up on 13 years. Wow. 13 years every single Wednesday, forever. So that's been the single most important part of my business, which has built my brand with my entire database. You know, I kind of showed somebody property you know, six years ago, they didn't buy anything. A lot of people just let that kind of slip through the cracks. Well, they're getting this email from me every single week and it's original content. That's the biggest thing too, I think about, you know, marketing is that people want original content. You know, they want original, consistent content. And a lot of people are doing generic drip campaigns. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, it's just, that stuff doesn't work. People know that it's automated drip stuff and it just, it's got to be original. It's got to come out of your brain. It's got to be uh, have a little bit of your personality in there. It's got to be something you think. You know, um, you have to put a little time into this stuff. You know, none of this stuff is easy. None of it's automatic. You know, 
You, if you, you get out what you put into it, and if you'll spend yeah. time to create original content that people like, you know, they're gonna open up that email every week. It gives them a reason to open it up. So the email's been a big thing for me. I use Constant Contacts to do that. And then I think the single most invaluable piece of technology for real estate agents that, that ever came to be or is these, di these automatic dialers. These automatic dialers, uh, you know, like Red X and Mojo, you know, yeah. you, you, you can literally click a couple buttons and find thousands of phone numbers and then click another button and just start dialing those numbers. And then if you, if you, you know, get buyer leads, which I highly strongly advise against because you're paying hundreds of dollars for a random person in your market's contact information, you could have met at a gas station you know, whereas Mojo and Red X, you're paying just a couple cents for targeted property owners, contact information. But if you do have this long list of buyers that you know, it just you used to buy leads or you just have this list of random per people in your market, you can download that list into these dialers and dial those numbers, you know? And it's just, you know, it's through your computer, you click dial and it just starts going through the list. You don't push, you don't dial the numbers by finger. It's just like da 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 da. Dude, when I was when I was coming up, it would take me eight hours to, to look up a hundred numbers, copying and pasting addresses. And then yeah, eight hours to find a hundred numbers. And then it would take me another eight hours to dial those numbers with my finger. And it was horrible data. Nowadays you click a couple buttons and you get thousands of numbers within a second. And it's really good data. It's cell phone numbers and stuff. And you click another button and start dialing them, and you can call 150 within a two hours, where it was taking me like 16 hours to look up and call 100. You know, you literally do things 10 times faster in terms of communication. And for me, one reason why technology won't replace agents, what I was talking about earlier, is this voice to voice. Like the voice to voice consultation between agent and client. Is something that you technology can't replace and I think one thing new agents coming in the business need to realize is that you know you grew up with technology and it's all great and you know how to get in front of people and you're a good marketer and stuff like that but if you can't talk to people you're not gonna make it in this business because that is the that's the X factor for real estate agents and why we're not gonna be replaced by machines so you got to mix the technology and, and all this digital marketing with this voice to voice. When you combine those two, then you build a really big business.